I want to be one of the greatest players to ever put on such a uniform and, you know, we can get some championships back here in Boston. Hopefully, you know, I can be one of those great players that they talk about. With the 10th pick in the 1998 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Paul Pierce from the University of Kansas. Oh, Paul Pierce muscles it through and one. Great move by Pierce, flies inside for two. Paul was an elite competitor. He amazed me night in and night out with just his love for the game and, and desire. Pierce for a three. Touche, says Pierce. Well, it's amazing watching Pierce play. Paul was about 230, uh, at about 6'7. So he had the height, he had the build, he had the stamina, and he was competitive as hell. Fall away at the buzzer. Oh. Got it! The truth shall set you free. Write this down. Paul Pierce is the mother <laughs> truth. Paul Pierce wins the game. I was like, this guy's the truth because what he's doing is not a lie. And he was doing it against the world champs. 17, 23 points in the game. Five, 40 points for Pierce. 42 in his homecoming here to Los Angeles. Paul thrived in pressure. In Eastern Conference playoffs, we're down 26 going into the fourth quarter. I got a gay Paul a tongue lash and told him how good he was and how he was letting them off the hook and, and not being aggressive. And the fourth quarter that he put on was, was unbelievable the way he was able to bring us back. That was one of the best fourth quarters that I've ever seen an individual do. Harrington was guarding it, and Paul Pierce had scored a couple of baskets on it, and they were telling Harrington to go guard somebody else. And Harrington threw the guy's hand away, like, no, I got him, I got him. And Paul was talking to him, like, you, you want this? You want this? And Harrington was like, show me, show me. Pierce buries it right to Harrington's face. I don't think it ever got enough attention when Paul wanted to stay in Boston, took less money, renegotiated a contract to allow us to have a better team. I don't think Paul ever got his just due for the sacrifice that he made for our, our franchise. Who's the MVP in the league this year? One, two, three. Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Pierce continuing to throw him down. He is in a zone all by himself. My favorite on-court memory of Paul was game seven against Cleveland. It was a battle with LeBron and Paul. It'll go down in history as that, but there was a jump ball, and Paul dove and beat LeBron to the loose ball. It is over at the Garden. I've waited all my career to get back to this point, and I'm a terrorist the most. And I want to remind y'all just one thing. Everybody wants to win, but our strength is in our numbers. Pierce for three. Bang! Back to Pierce. Another three. Puts it in. It is the truth. The MVP of the 2008 NBA Finals is Paul Pierce. No one has endured what Paul Pierce has. And the fact that he was standing on the stage with all of Boston cheering, I think it was the perfect ending. Paul was a true Celtic. He was with us all the way. I would just like Paul to know how grateful I am for him and uh, all that he did, all that he sacrificed, and all that he endured. You look at what Bobby Orr did with four, what Bird did with 33, but Paul's 34 was the working man's number, or, uh, you know, old, reliable. I happen to be the last jersey that was retired. So now I have to be the first person that's gonna say, welcome to the club. <laughs>